Rockets, which are unguided, self-propelled weapons, were developed into missiles during the 20th century. Today's missiles evolved during World War II, where guidance via wires or simple direction holding automatic flight controls were added to rockets. Examples of these include the German V-1, V-2, and the Fritz X missiles. Missiles can be broken into several different types, such as air-to-air, air-to-surface, surface-to-surface, etc. This video is going to focus on air-to-air, -air, or perhaps ship-to-ship -ship is more appropriate, as Star Citizen is based mostly in space. Star Citizen's missiles vary in size from small anti-fighter missiles, size 1 to 3, all the way up to anti-capital ships, size 4 and up. The range at which missiles can lock onto a target is dependent on the seeker and the missile's size. Real missiles are made up of four major components, all of which are emulated in Star Citizen. The seeker head or guidance control section, the warhead, the flight control system, and the propulsion system. The seeker is usually the forwardmost component of the missile and is used to track the missile's intended target. The seeker sends target direction information to the flight control system for steering. The different seeker types used in Star Citizen are infrared (IR), electromagnetic (EM), and cross-section (CS). IR seekers lock onto and track the spacecraft's heat signature. Heat is generated by the ship's power plant, engines, maneuvering thrusters, weapons, and even coolers. The more heat the spacecraft is producing, the more likely this type of missile will be able to track and hit its target. EM seekers function in the same way as IR, except the spacecraft's EM signature is being tracked. EM is generated by onboard electrical systems. Both IR and EM missiles track radiation in the form of heat, or EM energy, radiating from the target. Cross-section missiles, on the other hand, behave more like active radar missiles. These missiles have small onboard radars that lock onto and track the target's radar cross-section. Radar cross-section, or RCS, refers to how much radar energy is reflected back from the ship. Radar cross-section is affected by the construction, material, size and shape of the ship, along with the angle that the radar energy hits the ship's surface. Unguided rockets are still used in Star Citizen as they are today. Rockets are known as dumb fire in Star Citizen. Dumb fire rockets do not have seeker heads which makes their use limited as they work more like a gun than a missile where the projectile flies in a straight path in the direction they were fired. The warhead is part of the missile that contains either explosives or some other payload. Other payloads can be sub-munitions, smaller missiles such as the Rattler, or electronic warfare equipment such as data spikes. The warhead is set off by a target detector or fuse which can be activated by impact, proximity or set by a time delay. The flight control system receives guidance information from the seeker in the nose of the missile. Because missiles in Star Citizen are designed to work outside an atmosphere, the missile uses a combination of manoeuvring thrusters and rocket thrust vectoring to steer. The flight control system controls the manoeuvring thrusters and rocket gimbal to steer the missile towards the target. The propulsion system is what propels and dictates the burn time or life of the missile. The larger the missile, the larger the motor, and the longer it will burn or live for. When a missile motor is exhausted, the missile will self-detonate. Missiles can be defeated by a combination of manoeuvring and countermeasures. Countermeasures are designed to spoof missile seekers by imitating and exaggerating ship signatures. Both IR and EM missiles are spoofed by using flares which emit a much higher amount of heat and EM radiation than a ship which confuses and distracts the IR missile. Cross-section missiles are spoofed by using chaff, which is made up of hundreds of thousands of tiny foil strips which reflect radar energy. The resulting cloud of foil strips present a much larger radar contact than the ship, hiding it and confusing the missile seeker, giving the defending spacecraft a chance to escape. Both of these countermeasures are best used in conjunction with missile avoidance maneuvers to give the best chance of defeating them. An excellent guide to missile avoidance is available on the Legacy Instructional Series channel which I will link to in the description. Understanding how missiles work will give you the edge in using and avoiding them effectively. For more information on how spacecraft systems work in Star Citizen, please refer to the spacecraft flight manuals found on the Community Hub on the RSI website. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching.